Hi, this is Doug Wolf at Boise State University, and this is a brief tutorial on how to use Anime Face Maker 2 in order to make a, a character for your adventure game. Uh, the link for the uh, game, it's an online game, kind of a game, they call it a game, is on the course website and in the uh, project description as well. So just click the play button and once you at the URL. And then uh, this is a pretty self-explanatory thing, so I'm just going to show you a few tips, things that may not be obvious to you or that took me a little while to figure out. Uh, your character in progress is shown in this upper left corner. And under hair, the main kind of hair is found under the fringe category. And one of the things I did not notice at first is that there are seven pages of hair. Uh, some of them female hairstyles and some of them are more male type hairstyles. So you can go through and find type of hair that you like. Uh, while you are on this hair page, this fringe page, you can set a color for it. And then if you go to the ponytail category, uh, you can add ponytails in various styles if you wish. And again, these, once you've selected it, you can select a color for it. If you decide you don't want the ponytail after you've added it, just click the red X and it will remove it. And that works the same for any of these different categories. Uh, the eyes, obviously you can go and uh, get some different kind of eyes. And again, you can apply some sort of a color to the eyes. One of the things that uh, confused me at first was, it's like, okay, I still have a female looking character. The body is a female body. And the way you change that is in the tops section of the clothing. So if we go there, you notice the first page are all female tops. And if we go to the second page, then you get male tops. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the uh, various costumes are similar between the two, but just with male versus female body types. And then finally, you can go through all these other categories and select anything you want. Um, I want some ninja swords to go along with the gi that my character's wearing. Once you're happy with what you have, then the way to save it, there is no save button in here. So the way to save it is to use the, uh, take screen capture of it using whatever your favorite screen capture tool is. For something like this, I often use the Windows 7 snipping tool. And so just select that. Let me bring this back into where you can see it. And then hit the Save button. And um, and then you can save it. And uh, Windows at least gives you, the snipping tool gives you a number of different choices. PNG is a good format um, for your purposes. And there you go. That's all there is to making your own character with uh, Anime Face Maker 2. I want to add just a quick PS um, and get those menus out of the way. Uh, just to mention that if some of you want to go a little bit further and perhaps give your uh, character some different expressions, that is something you can do. Set the base character first. So here I've got a particular character. Um, and, uh, and then you can go and change things like the mouth and the eyes. And here's the vampire version of the character. Anyway, so just want to mention that to you, that that's another option that's available to you if you want to get a little more creative.